Projectile motion is a common type of motion you'll encounter in two dimensions and to simplify things I've taken the origin at the position of the projectile. So the projectile is launched from a position of x0, y0 at an initial velocity v0. And what we do is resolve this vector into these x and y components using the unit vectors. So we can write the initial velocity vector and this is using vector addition. And using trigonometry so projectile motion assumes that the projectile or particle is under the influence of gravity with no air resistance. So therefore in the horizontal direction we only have one kinematic equation so there's no acceleration component in the horizontal direction. Now in the vertical direction we have the same kinematic equations that we've derived previously for 1D motion and we can replace the x's with y's and the velocity component will be in the y direction. 